problem for the Labour Party seems to be you've, you've held your own, you've gained a few seats from what we've seen so far, but you've not made any massive inroads, have you? Oh no, look, this is a real turning point for the Labour Party. We've made real headway uh, in key battlegrounds uh, in England and I'm confident that when the results start coming in from Wales and Scotland we'll be able to show progress across the whole of the UK in exactly the sorts of seats that we need to take off the Tories in order to win the next uh, general election. So we've made progress in terms of key local authorities, uh, whether that's taking Southampton, uh, which has always been a real bellwether and tells us a lot about what we can expect uh, ahead of the next general election election, winning the new Cumberland uh, local authority, taking Wandsworth and Westminster and Barnet here in London as well. So we've seen real progress in terms of gains uh, of local authorities, key local authorities, important for us for the next general election. But actually also when you overlay the results that we've seen that have come in already uh, against what, what, what is needed for us to build on our 2019 general election result, which was one of our worst ever general election results, I think what we can show is real progress on the popular vote share in key parliamentary constituencies that we need to take off the Tories to form a majority Labour government. On these results, we would be winning in Workington, in Carlisle, we'd be taking seats in West Bromwich and in Wolverhampton, we'd be winning Hartlepool, we'd be winning Copeland. All these areas are very important for us to take off the Tories in, if we're going to make a majority Labour government at the next general election. That's why these are a really positive set of results for us, a strong foundation for us to build on. Uh, based on Keir's leadership, uh, taking the fight to the Tories okay. on the cost of living crisis. So it's a good night for us. We've got more work to do, but we've made real progress. I mean, just looking back on, on, on what you had to do back in 1995 in, in the preparation for then Tony Blair winning in 1997, you were absolutely streets ahead of where you appear to be uh, this time round. I, I mean, it does seem... I mean, a, a lot of the analysts are saying, look, you're just not in the position to, to turn around and, and translate this into a general election win in a couple of years. Well, look, I don't, I don't think the comparison with 1995 uh, is, is, the, uh, is relevant here. You, you've got to look at when these seats were last fought in England, and that was in 2018. We've gone into these local elections already defending more than 50% of the seats that have been up for contention here in England. We've already got over 50% of the seats going into these local elections. So with respect, when, you've all, when you're already at over 50%, uh, the headroom that you have for further significant gains is obviously necessarily limited. Uh, but we have still made gains in key local authorities that we have taken off the Tories. And the important thing is to try and overlay what these results show us in terms of the popular vote with what would happen in parliamentary constituencies that are going to be the absolute marginal battleground seats for that next general elections and their the general election. There are a lot of Tory MPs currently in seats such as Workington, in Hartlepool, in Copeland, in Wolverhampton, in West Bromwich, who are going to be worried by what these results show is like to happen to them at the next general election because on these results we would be taking those seats off the Tories and I think that that's the progress that we are able to demonstrate based on these results under Keir's leadership we've made huge changes to the party uh, and that is now being reflected because voters are not only just giving us a hearing again but actively and directly switching to voting for the Labour Party again uh, and so this is real progress for us but we've got a lot more work to do ahead of that next general election but the real comparator here is where we were in 2019, our general election result in uh, 2019 and what these results show us would happen at the next general election.